Uncle Neil was, I would say he was more than a father. He, he had, he was many things to us. He was a, he was our mentor. He was our leader. He was a friend. And uh, my association personally, I think the story is too long to get into now. But he transformed me completely. He knew me more than I knew myself. And as the years progressed, he brought me up with so much love and so much care and a foundation in such strong principles that those things, although he's no longer here, but those things is what will carry us through. And his being is in each and every one of us. And he's taught us. He, he took a back seat, just so you know, quite a few years ago, so that we would move forward. He would not travel much for the concerts, hardly, because he wanted us to grow. And I dare say the Shillong Chimba Choir, he's built it now that it can stand on its own. And as he hated anything that was stagnant, we too will not just uphold the name of the Shillong Chimba Choir, but we will take it forward and it shall prosper even more. And yeah. that is the... The leader that Akhil was. You were with him in Mumbai. We were with him. In uh, can you tell us about the, the last days? His last days, you know, he was he was actually very well, and uh, we had 33 songs to record for our new spiritual album that was coming. It was a gift to the world. His, it was a deep desire in his heart for many years to give a spiritual album, and he said something. Once we've done the spiritual album, you see how much God will bless the other work as well, and uh, finished those 33 songs on the time that he was about to go for the operation he i went i was with him i was with R as well me and him were with, with uncle neil and i said uncle neil the sopranos have finished all the songs that means the main voice and he just smiled and with that comfort he knew that it was going to happen he, he he's not he doesn't really show much himself in video but this time you'll see him on the piano uh, where he always loved to be and uh, we did some video shoots and all of that. It was such a memorable, but at the same time, there was a certain haste in him because he's such a spiritual man and he could see far beyond what we could see. And he knew that something was going to happen. He was in such a hurry to finish this, to finish that, to imbibe more and more of, of God in all of us. And I dare say that he has fulfilled it and uh, he has given his everything. And at a wonderful age of 51, he is now with the one who he loved the most, and that is Jesus. So, yeah, that's what I would say. Uh, Can you also tell us about his music? The, yeah. The his music, there will be none like him. One thing I'm sure will be irreplaceable is the way he played the piano. He was not virtuo in the sense of, you know, doing some fantastic this and fantastic that. He hardly practiced anymore because he was so used to giving his life for the sake of others. Music was down the line. Just because of work, he would just, you know, start composing and this and that. But his piano playing is unmatched simply because of the depth of his soul. And his touch on the piano, I've not heard. I can dare say this. I've not heard. And the way he plays it and the soul behind it is absolutely irreplaceable. And uh, of course, his composition skills. He's, you, you don't know where he's going and where he's coming from. He's full of wit, full of inventiveness. He can't bear... Medleys happened, and it's our USP now. It simply happened because he couldn't bear to listen to the same song from beginning to end. He had to put something else there to keep, you know, changing things around. And he's taught that to us. And a lot of the medleys that you now hear are actually not even written by him. They're written by Iba, by Kevi, some by the choir members. And he just supervises and sees things, but hardly... You know, will he will he say uh, will he change much? Because he knew that we also had to grow. So that was the the man that he was. He did not. He made sure that it did not end with him. It was just something that he was there to push us forward now. And yeah. How is the choir now? I mean, what is the way forward now in the absence of the maestro? The way forward, like I said, uh, he has already done so 